everybody. My mom has stuff to show you and she's, it's made out clay. <laughs> so today I have some charms and keychains and figurines I wanted to show you guys today that uh, of stuff that I've made and that I've made off camera. So we'll get started. Okay. First is her favorite one is I. You can kind of see how it um, glows. You just need to keep in sun a little bit. I can't get to glow. Here, here. Let me see. All right. But it is. It's a pin you can hang on your not on your shirt. On your shirt. Or your bag. Or your bag, whatever. And it glows in the dark. And it's made with Sculpey 3 Glow in the Dark. Sculpey 3 Glow in the Dark. And it's a pin with these little ghosts on it. You can do, it's like it, the ghost lights up too. Oh. Yes, the ghost lights the ghost And it light lights up. up. And my mom did the faces on the ghost. It is a, a little smile and so it's like when you can hang anything. <laughs> It's okay. Um, this all hand painted. The black and the faces are all hand painted. Yeah. And, and then it's glazed on top of that. And so there's that. And that's one of my favorites because I absolutely love Halloween. I don't know how well it's going to glow uh, all night. I have stuck it in the window for just a couple seconds, and granted, it's only a couple seconds. But it, when you put it in the window, it, or um, and take it out and put it in a dark area, it glows so bright, and then you, it slowly starts to dim down. and And I'll insert a picture of how bright it glows just after taking it straight out of the window. Um, but I'm going to do a review of my own product because I do eventually want to sell these, and um and just show how how well it works if it works during the night uh, if you put it in like wear it all day in the sun or put it in your window all day in the sun just to get that that light in there it glows okay under like a lamp or something but it's not very bright it's not as bright as you were to put it in the sun so but I guess I'm going to do later on a review for this um, whenever I do get them in my get them in an Etsy shop or, or, or whatever so there's that and Here's the Harry Potter thing for Harry Potter bus day. And it's, it's, you can yeah. bend to. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Yeah, the, I showed at the end of the video, let me see real quick. I showed at the end of the video how um, flimsy it is. And I did, I took a video and I filmed it and I did kind of break it. But that's, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's really flimsy, but it's kind of all my hand plating, so. No. Handmade. Handmade. There you go. And um, it is. It's been. She we did. She did have to bake it a couple times, cause there's kind of powder. But you can see how it's sprinkling on the back and the front. Say it's it's. Um, it's glazed. Shiny and it's glazed. Good job. Shiny and glazed. You can actually, it, you can hang it on your key chamber or a wall. You can do anything with it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay. And this is my 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 six year old little boy helping me today. And here are these um candy wrappers. And what's it made out of? Oh, it's made out of um, clay. Femo. Femo and clay. Trans translucent. <coughs> And then the color is Craftsmart Craft Smart J. Jade. Jade. <laughs> and and here's but you can see some sparkle stuff on the back. It's yeah, a hold it closer black. so they can see. You can see a little sparkling when you face that sun you see a little sparkling. And that's from when I baked it, it's got these hooks on it because when I baked it, I didn't want it to have a flat bottom or the wrapper pieces be messed up. So I made a hook in it and hung it on the side of my glass um, dish that I baked in. that's what happened to it on the back. It's actually yeah. it's like shining. The bottom is made out of what? No, it's all made out of the same thing. It's all made out of the same thing on the top. These wrappers are like, looks like plastic wrappers from like a candy. But it's made of clay, too. Is it mesmerizing, Lex? Oh, no. <laughs> and, and 
the, my mom did the face. It's um handmade. Hand painted. Hand painted, and it's a cute face, and she made it really good. You should be proud of her. <laughs> you show this one. Well, thank you. And they're both the same made out of. Yeah, you gotta show it in the camera. But on um, this one's kind of made out like. See how they made out with buttons? It's handmade. She just made a button. And it's the button. whole. Where do you get a button from? It looks like little buttons. Oh. Huh. And it's like a squiggly face. Like this one. That one's a happy face. But. I want to have a face, but this one's a squiggly face. But the both, this one's just still made out the same thing. The both made out the same thing, so there's none different. There's no difference. And okay, well here you go. You can show Perry the platypus. If you have kids, ooh, obviously I do, or you're in the age of watching Disney, then you know who he is. This is Perry the platypus from Phineas and Ferb show um i made him out of his base is out of craft smarts jade or not jade excuse me turquoise and he's more green actually no. thank you he's more green in real life than he he looks blue on the camera um i mixed his bill his feet and a tail with female translucent yellow and orange uh scopey three orange and because I didn't want him that bright, he looks brighter on camera than he is in life. He's he's more yellow in real life, but um, I made that, and his face is all made of clay. And then I mixed this brown here to make, um, because I ran out of I did not run out of I never had I, I don't have any brown, so I had to make brown when I made cookies and stuff, which you'll see in a second. And um, so I'm not very good at hands yet, so because you can tell, but he stands. And I like that. Hang on. And I made his hat. And his hat was his hat was the most difficult part, and I don't. I'm it's not my favorite, but I like everything else about him. Um, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but Lisa Ferb or is currently on. We have it on all the time. The kids watch it almost all the time. Um, so yeah. There's that, and that's that's one of my favorites that I made. This next thing, if yeah, you saw me, it. if you this next thing, if you saw in my Deathly Hollows keychain tutorial, you'll saw this little fox mat that I made, and this is actually material, and I laminated this to make a mat, so I had something to use from my clay, um, and that's what inspired me to make this little fox. And he is out of I made the orange with. A tan, I mixed it with tan and orange together because if you notice in the mat, he's kind of a darker color. Darker color. D yes, dark, thank you. Darker color orange. And then I didn't want a bright orange, and the only orange I've ever seen is like a pumpkin-y orange, so um, so I, you know, I mixed it and made it. Anyway, his, ha his face is clay, or his eyes, I should say. And then this is Sculpey. Uh, translucent white which I didn't know it was translucent white because I have a sampler pack of um, I got a sampler pack of Sculpey for Christmas a long time ago and I threw the package away and they're not marked once you take them out and I don't know if they're marked in the package or the package has it marked saying which is what or not but um, I picked up because it was kind of an off-white color and I didn't know it was that I probably should have but I didn't and uh, and when I baked it, it you know obviously is translucent. But I, I mean I like it. I like how it turned out. I mean it's nice. It's not a um, it's not real bright, and I like that's, that's what I wanted anyway. So and he's you know obviously he stands. He's adorable. So here are some donuts that I made, and these are hand painted, and it's all made out of Sculpey. And then I got something on them. But anyway, just the the frosting or the um, the icing is glazed and then texture a little bit. I did mess up on this one. I got, you know, uh, some purple on there. And then I'm not very good at making the eye loops yet, but <laughs> it's because it's got a head pin in there. But there's those. And those are cute, and those will, um, uh, earrings at one point 
Okay, and here's a donut that I made and it's overly frosted or, um, yeah, so it's just bad and it is textured. And this is, um, Sculpey, uh, sprinkles on there. I couldn't think what it's called. And I just, it's not my favorite. Overly, like I said, overly, uh, put icing on it too much and I covered up the head pin and made that and I just don't like it and then I put too much glaze on it and it got stuff in it I don't know if you can tell it's too much on there and I don't like it so it's kind of a fail then on the fox things if you know I showed you my fox before I was in the mood for making fox it's the same color I made this fox here and it's a ring and I can't I cannot wear, um, I can't wear any metals that's not, like, 100% like gold or silver or, or whatever. It's, everything, anything else makes me break out. And, um, so, I, there's no ring base in this, no nothing. So I was like, well, I'm, I'm just going to make a ring out of clay. And it, I like how it just comes right back <laughs> to its shape. And he's all hand-painted. His t uh, tail and his ears and his face are all hand painted on, and I made just the base of this first, and then his face. I cook, baked this for like three minutes, if that, and then put his face and ha hands on, and that's why it's not like mixed in real well or smoothed out real well. Because I'm not one. I'm not very good at it, and two, it was uh, pretty much baked by that point. So um, anyway. So I did that, and and I had two of these, and I gave the other one to my friend Liz because it fit her hand better, and it was smaller. And this one is still big, but it's it does come off real easily. Now I can't make it. There you go. But um, it just wants to come off super easily. And if you're sitting there talking, if you talk, if you're like me and you talk with your hands, then it will just fling off your hand. So I do want to make this again, but make it smaller. I do like that. But moving on. Okay, so now I have some cookies, and this we'll start off with this one, and these are cute. And on all my baked goods so far, they all have the same color clay, and because I, I didn't have any chalk pastels when I made uh, all these cookies at, at this point, and I didn't know how to shade even if I had them, and I wanted a cookie base that looked like it had been baked, and so I mixed. I mixed this, which is Fimo Vanilla and, gold, and Sculpey 3 Gold, I mixed them together, and I just love how it turned out. It looks like it's been baked, and I love it. Um, he's got an evil little face. I glazed, uh, glazed excuse me, just the chips in his eyes and mouth and uh, eyebrows and stuff. And um, he, uh, he's got an evil face because, you know, cookies are evil. I think he's adorable. You know they're evil because of, um, sorry, they're evil because they put weight on you, you know, on your hips and thighs and stuff, so, but he's, he's adorable, I think, so there's that. Here's another one that I made, and I kind of messed up on, but I think the front of it looks really, really good. I really like it. Turned out really good in my, in my point of view, and I like, I glazed just the chips. This is where I messed up. I pull. I, I just stuck the head eye pin in there and pulled it out before I baked it because I didn't want to bake it in there with it because I was wanting to glue it in afterwards. And um, when I put it in after it was baked, it pushed through the back, which made me mad, but I just glued it down. The, but this will be mine. I'm not going to give this or anything to anybody. But I really like how it turned out. It's textured really nicely. The color's perfect. It just awesome I just really like this uh, here's my next thing I want to show if you can't tell it's messed up this came off I filmed this so many times and it broke off a while back um, my camera keeps messing up but anyway th it's a filled donut and it's I made it with mixed TLS with white Sculpey 3 to make the frosting and the stuffing the, the filling and it's textured and then I got it on the back and I didn't know it until after I baked it 
and it just it irritated me because it turned out so well other than that and you know just that just irritated me but everything else I really like about it it's it's cute and here is a fortune cookie it has a heart on it it's a fortune cookie where you get like notes from it and it's not really true sometimes I think it's true but it's not really and the bottom of it it's smoother I messed up on the bottom I don't really like that yeah it's kind of messed up it's kind of like a round bump there's a chip there but you can tell if you could do this you could put something there and you can make it open and close and take this out like no. Pen note in there? No, that, that stays. I, just the piece of paper on there is glazed, and I, I hand painted that little heart on. Yeah, she hand painted that little heart. But everything else is just made of clay, real clay, the color clay. Except this. And it's textured. It's textured. And the whole thing. And you can see how the back and the heart, it looks much smoother like there. You can tell how it's different. On these next ones, these are um, these are fails. And on this very first one, I actually had two of, and it's a switch's hat. And I turned around for two seconds. I put them in my little dish to bake, and I was working on other stuff because I wanted to bake them all together. And turned around for two seconds, and my daughter had gotten a hold of it. And this one I got away, and the other one she had just torn up. She had torn off the rim. This was hanging on. This this part was just messed up. It was just terrible. And this one, I, I got away from her before she could really mess it up. And, uh, I mean, if you can tell, I didn't realize ap until after I baked it how bad it was. The rim isn't that bad. This part isn't that bad, except for you can tell where I grabbed it from her with my nail. Got in there and some fingerprints and stuff. But I didn't realize how bad this looked. The buckle and the... Um, strap until after I baked it. I mean, just all wonky. This actually looked like a buckle. I took my time and made it look like a belt buckle, like on a witch's hat would. And it's just, I don't know. It just, it bummed me out. I, I wanted to cry after she did that because I worked so hard on them. I made two of them because I was going to make earrings. It was, I was working out ideas I had for making things, and this was one of them. And then just, yeah, I was upset. <laughs> this next one is, I mean, it's a fail and you'll see why. It's a jelly filled cookie. This is TLS and red Sculpey clay in there. It's glittery in there and I like, I like that part. That's the only part I like about this whole thing is this um, jelly filled part. But everything else, it was a round cookie and I wanted to make it at a heart shaped. And it just, I kept messing up, kept messing up, kept messing it up, and I just should have just left it alone. But at the, at the point, I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to make it anyway. And at one point, it did have a pin in there, and I took it out. So, yeah, it's just, it's just not very good. But it is textured and whatnot, and I went ahead and did all that. It's just, yeah, not, not very good. On all these, I, I like colors. I made, I mixed, and made. I made that color I said before with female, vanilla, and um, gold Sculpey Three, and I love how it turned out. Well, I ran out, pretty. I ran out of the mixture I made, and I have very little um, female vanilla left, and I didn't. I couldn't find any gold when I went back to buy some gold. Uh, so I was never. I was not able to make any more, and I was so I was mixing and ma trying to make other colors and this is what came out and the camera gives it way more color than it is in real life like that looks tan it look, doesn't look bad on camera but in real life it is in person whatever it looks sickly it's gray it's just bad the texturing is is not that bad it's okay this I had a pen in there and it broke and um, I took it out. It's just bad overall. The chips are huge, which is not, they're not too bad, but it's not really that good. And they just, this, I don't know, I just don't like it. The camera gives it more life than it needs. These are my attempts of mixing and trying to get 
uh, this color of clay. I mean, if you can tell how far off they are, they're not that bad. Like I said, the camera gives them more color and life than they need or deserve. This one is pretty much true to the color. I mean, it, it looks like this on camera and off camera. It looks like that color, but these do not. I don't know why it does that, why it's such a different color, but these are more gray than this. Um this is not at all great this is this is looks really good on and off camera I don't know why but anyway um so yeah they're there those are my these are my attempts because you know when you bake Sculpey or any clay really they're they're going to change and those were my color variations and when I did that um I was making and mixing and matching and then I made this cookie which was my first attempt at shading after I got some chalk pastels it looked like this and then it ended up looking like this after I attempted to shade it and I just I over shaded it it looks like the chalk pastels everywhere I just they I didn't know how to control them really it just when it came off my brush it went everywhere and I don't know why but yeah I just I switched brushes and you'll see in a second um, what it looks like afterwards this is my second attempt in shading and it's not bad this is really really like tan light clay if you can't tell how the difference is um, and then the shading is not is not too bad the, if it's bad because the chips are so big they're not pushed down into the cookie the texture is not that bad it's not good but it's not that bad um, but the overall cookie is not that bad it's just not good at all because in it looks like I in, in, in actual life it looks um, like there's no like when you bake a cookie there's just the gradual lighting of it going out to the edge and getting darker this is just dark on the edge and it just doesn't look good at all here is here is this donut you can tell how it's long stick I am this was one of my tester pieces and this yeah. is actually the female sure vanilla hang on the female vanilla and then I made this brown chocolate this was my testing for and, the uh, color and it's more colorful and you can tell how the other donuts come out well but this one coming out weird you can kind of tell it's not that circle weird and so circly no. on top the crust you can tell it turned out good I think you don't think it turned out good I think it did turn out good it's <laughs> It's I'm just messing it up. It's okay. And um it is a good material. it's good it's good and it's she used to be proud of her. She made it hard, strong. <laughs> hard and strong. <laughs> she did it she was a good person. She made all these like a good person. <laughs> Thank you, like she is a really good person, my mom. <laughs> Well, thank you. But there is that. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below, like, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.